That little stick stove is working good so far. We're testing it out for about the last 15, 20 minutes. And we can cook some, uh, or heat up some water if we want. Right now we're heating up some for coffee, but if I want hot chocolate or something, I can always place it right over the stove here. And it fits perfect. Of course, right now I have to let the sticks burn down. Right to the stove's level there, the top. This will sit on top of there? Oh yes, I tested it already. That's gonna be kinda dangerous. No, it fits good. Here we got some visitors for our campsite tonight. <laughs> Adventure Archives, Robbie. Hello. Andrew we'll and Brian. <laughs> Looks like we're all right getting filmed. Here we've got Up Trail 71. We got Bob. Tastes like Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> were you about it's to like, say that? <laughs> <laughs> tastes like November 1st, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> it's like I was going to say, tastes like Halloween. <laughs> What's the date today, anyway? 19? <laughs> No, what is that? <laughs> tuna, actually. Oh, tuna in there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Probably had some cheese. Cat food. Okay. Cat food. <laughs> Cat food. Yeah, man. Don't you know that we're I didn't on a see what you were here? <laughs> sticking in there. <laughs> no, I, it's just these like little prepackaged tuna. It's like the tuna <laughs> packages. So I'm gonna try and make like a tuna melt here. I think this stove's working better than ours. So Bob is looking at Brian. Whipping up this <laughs> bizarre concoction. It's a tuna what's melt. It's a tuna melt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got sand in there now. Here, can you get it? Good. I got a tuna tuna melt concoction. Oh, actually, here. here. You can put it in this lid and then give me that pan. Oh, okay. Here. I don't see how it can go wrong. It's tuna and cheese, so. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One bite? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll take it. <clears throat> First part. Good. I like it really good. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, then I'll eat It's like a uh, subway. <laughs> <laughs> just like James. <laughs> what? No, oh. just like James. That beer box is definitely full. Yeah. It's definitely jam packed. Oh, this is different from the other one. See, Andrew set up. What kind of tent is this? This is a Nemo Hornet. Oh, Nemo. It's technically a two-person tent, but it's uh, more comfortable for one. But it's only two pounds. Yeah, that's it's got two doors. extremely light. Yeah. You got your Since new sleeping bag. Hammock, so. You have a down sleeping bag now, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. It packs tight, and it seems really warm. I haven't tried it, oh but my I kind of want to get one. Oh, my God. Last night, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, where do you enter from this one? In the uh, front? No, it's like a or, okay. yeah, this Oh, right here. Right okay. Here. Well, good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>
Oh yeah, Kathy's gonna want hers very soon. Oh yeah, you just recently like, had the little blooper thing. Each other did it. Huh. Yeah, it's the second clip where I think you must have just cut the ending of a fall. No. I'm not sure what happened. I was on the ground. Yeah. I was like, we were in Japan and I was like, you know, I've never lied in the middle of the street before. So I got in the street and I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then just as I was getting up, Brian oh, falls okay. into this. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, if I had... Really nice. Okay. You don't, yeah, you don't have to worry about your boots. That's fine. Oh, that's the, you gotta go the opposite way. Oh, this way. Yeah. I fooled you there. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, you can, yeah, you'll have to scoot it back a little way, more. Or It'll go to the right. Your feet will go so down this way. This way, okay. Oh, yeah. This and then you pretty can, much just feels like mine, so. Right. Now, that if that was 11 foot and a wider, it'd be even more comfortable, but yeah. still not bad for a 10 foot. <sighs> and then your feet will go down into the right there. There's actually, it forms a pocket. Then your head goes that way, right? Yeah. You're going to have trouble getting me out. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to want to leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a really good view of the leaves. <laughs> of the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about going with a tarp last night and just having it so it'll be open, you know? Oh, first time ever in a hammock. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like you just forgot. There you go. Set your feet to the right. We'll go down here. And then you'll take your head more that way. And as you adjust it, you know, and you're in there for a while, you'll find that you find your sweet spot. You might be up another three, four inches or... But yeah, I mean, the more the more you can get your... Yeah, yeah he's got it in there. After you adjust for a while, you'll find the best spot. How tall are you? Last night my sleeping bag, I just did basically what your overquilt does, and I didn't even zip up my sleeping bag, I just stuck my feet in. Yeah, that's bit. what I did. I had my feet it in it. perfectly fine. Just, all I needed was my feet warm, and I was fine. Yeah, yeah this is a <laughs> top quilt. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is super nice. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, I, I just started it in June, I think. Oh, and we're leaving Mosquito Campground. We'll be going in this direction. Oh, just gorgeous. It's hard to leave an area like this. And we'll be stopping to take one last look at Lake Superior. Here we're now leaving a Lake Superior area, be crossing that bridge at Mosquito River. That's yeah, Andrew setting up for their next video of them going across the bridge. Andrew got a challenge for you. Find a wild edible right in this area. Turkey tail fungus. <laughs> there you, <laughs> go. you can make uh, tea with it if that counts. 
Yeah, everything comes. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it actually? Right in our log, eh? Yeah, just all these. It's a uh, Tremides Versicolor. Hmm. So, yeah. Well, that's some good information. <laughs> I would have thought I would poison myself. I mean, <laughs> everything's edible, just some of them are only edible once. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, this is going to be some nice views. Looks like a small gorge. You hear some small waterfalls. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. And this is just one of the waterfalls. Cedar Falls could be a little further downstream here. And right here, this will be our final river crossing. See a little small waterfall right there. It's actually made by that tree that fell across. That looks kind of neat. Oh, just nice. I get a few blown over tree crossings. And now we have come up to Mosquito Falls. This will be the last waterfalls that we'll see on this pictured rock trip. Now we're going to walk down this gorge a little ways. We should get a really nice view of the falls. Oh, that's a beautiful small waterfall. There's one of the good climbs. Now we're about maybe a half mile away from the trailhead. He's getting ready for the winter. Oh, right here next to the trail, this is an old beaver dam. It actually formed a pond. There's a pond right on the other side here. Brian just spotted a garter snake. Now we're coming up to a junction here. Mosquito River is where we just came from in that direction. Chapel Beach is down this trail and we'll be heading back to the trailhead going this direction. I'm guessing maybe a quarter mile at most. Here it looks like we have one more nice little bridge crossing. They put a lot of work into this little bridge. There's just so many neat areas around here. You have little rivers all over, streams, waterfalls, cliffs, Lake Superior, some very nice campsites that we stayed at.
Well, <laughs> and this is our last planned backpacking trip for 2017. And boy, it was a perfect weekend. Maybe I can talk Robbie into going hammock camping with me in January up here. It would be pretty easy to convince me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you'd love it. Good trip. Yes. What did you think of the area? Excellent, excellent trip. Better than expected or? Oh yeah, yeah way, way better. better. <laughs> I mean, I, I had high expectations, but I didn't realize. Like everything came together, the weather, the views, oh, it was great. Yeah. I mean, let's just look at this. This alone yeah. is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that this was going to be good, but I didn't expect it to become one of my favorite places ever. But like, right. this is like a place I'd love to come back to. That's why I, I left Brian a message to be one of his top five favorite ever. Easy. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and a lot. Big thanks to, uh, to Bob for actually suggesting this loop. Yes, because there's a lot of trails to choose from, but this was definitely... Right, I knew which area to pick. Good job, Bob. <laughs> living, living only 100 miles from here, we do know the area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you. Ah, the bear trap. Nice hot pasties. Yes. It smells so good. It's gonna be a pasty taste test. Still <laughs> deal. Everyone has their own method. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Tastes like um, it actually tastes like a, it reminds me of Christmas for some reason. I don't know, whenever they eat like meat pies in Game of Thrones yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. See you guys. And once again, thanks for watching Up Trail 71.